This week at MK Sports Cars, we test drive a track-focused Indy RR Hayabusa, but is it race ready to ship down under yet? We show you what's involved with four-wheel aligning a vehicle. We then visit the workshop and see the rapid progress of the K20 build. Is it starting to look like a car yet? There's updates on the Honda S2000 build and tune in to see if your chassis kit has made the production schedule. Don't go anywhere guys, you don't want to miss it. Got 
couple of additions in this particular car to try and keep the weight down. We're running the carbon tunnel top that we do for the bike engine cars. Carbon dashboard, carbon aero, carbon front arches, carbon rear arches. Could there be any more carbon? I'm half tempted to call this the carbon R of this car. Well, my review has been pretty small, pretty short, because I'm really taking it in. What a great little drive. Really nice mix on this car. Where's the clapperboard? I need the clapperboard. <laughs> All right guys, we're back at the K20 build. This is the latest build that we're obviously doing. Um, starting to look a little bit more like a car now, isn't it? As you know, these cars are completely bespoke. So what this customer has done is they've taken an image of one of our white cars. They, uh, they overlaid uh, a bit of Paint Shop Pro and they put on their bits and pieces that they did. So we've made this one bespoke for him. He's got red wishbones. There is a red roll bar ready to go on as well. But there's just a, color, a couple of updates that he's managed to make on the car or do for himself, exactly what he wanted. But the biggest thing is this bad boy here. The K20 is now in the car and we've managed to get it all plumbed up this week. We've got the coolant lines that are going in. We've also got the fuel lines that are going in as well. Uh, exhaust is on, exhaust manifold. Steering, steering's all in, catalytic converters on. We are getting very, very close with this one now. There's still a little bit more plumbing to do from the catch tank down to the rest of the system. Uh, that's probably gonna be next week's, but we are, we are certainly getting a little bit close. We've got the bulkhead in. Obviously now, now the car's got bodywork on it, it looks starting to really look like a car. We've got the scuttle panel on, we've got this rather lovely carbon dash. And we've got our new side seal protection kick strips on there. So the interior started to go in. We've got our uh, interior panels, which are all bonded in now. We've got the GRP tunnel top. This is radius for IVA compliance. We've got the handbrake gator in. We've got the gear lever gator in. There's a couple of little bits left to do on the engine. We've got the uh, oil cooler. We're coming up with a sandwich plate there, ready to go into the oil cooler itself to obviously keep it nice and cool when you're, you're on track. Um, there's a couple of other bits and pieces I've noticed as well while I'm looking at this. We've also got the air filter to, to basically mock up. That's going to sit about here in the middle of the bulkhead. And notice the battery has moved on this particular car. We've put the battery down low just to be able to handle the intake, the air filter, so that we've got enough space for that up the top here. Other than that, squeaky clean looking uh, engine bay. Really, really pleased with how this one's come out. Looks really cool. So we've done a, a water pump bypass on this, as you probably saw last week. Uh, we've got a blank, blank off plate for the water pump. The stock water pump comes off, we blank that off, and we're now fitting the electric water pump. That's been plumbed in, that's ready to go. Bit of wiring, and I think we'll be driving this out of here pretty soon. We've also done this week the fuel system with the flow and the return with a regulator. Um, we have been also documenting all of the progress that we've been making and we have put together a manual or we are putting together a manual so that if you decide to put one of these k20s in your car we'll have a full step-by-step -step manual of how to put it all together and how to fit it into your rx5 the latest updates on the honda powered car this is the f20c s2000 build we have received the, just yesterday last night the wiring loom for the engine. This is a new wiring loom, Omex based ECU, going in there, all done. It's gonna be ready to fit. We'll get this fitted. Hopefully we'll get some ECUs next week as well. And then we are all systems go. So we're very, very close with this one now. Uh, wheels and tires are all done, ready to go. They, uh, they look killer with the CXR, six inch fronts, eight inch rears. They'll be, they'll be fitted this week and she should be on the ground hopefully pretty soon. We've also uh, polished up the silencer because the silencer and the manifold that we received was a little bit mm, dirty and we've given that a good old polish up. That looks killer now. So we are not a million miles away on this one and then we'll be ready for the next round of builds. The guys are busy loading a crate that's going out to Norway. This is a left-hand drive RX5. We have got a dealer in Norway, Sandnes Motorsport. Hook them up if you're in Norway and you want to look for a car, left hand drive car. 
So we can crate the cars up. Obviously, this one's got an engine and all the other bits and pieces for the RX-5, the donor car. But we can crate up anything and send it anywhere on, on the planet, basically. So we can send it anywhere. Um, if, you, if you're abroad and you're not in the UK and you want one of our cars, hit us up and we will be able to get it packaged up just like this in a nice big wooden box and get it sent out to you. Chassis production is absolutely flying at the minute. It is going crazy. We've got another car in here for the brake lines and fuel lines to be fitted. This is Mr. P's. Um, you know who you are. This will be out to you very, very shortly once we fit your brake lines, fuel lines and your floor pan. Okay, guys, we've got the Indy Classic here, which we showed you about um, having the uh, handling issues, which was down to the tracking basically so what we've got here is we removed the uh, drum brake on this particular setup and what we're going to have to do is just inside here is we're going to have to shim so we've taken the two bolts out of here and we're going to have to shim the front end these are not adjustable wishbones they are fixed poly bushed um, so I think it may have had a little impact we looked like there's some tweaks in the chassis here so what we're going to do is shimming under this two front end ones to push the wheel out more because it's nine mil towing in so what we do we'll set about doing this now and then see what the results come out like right guys after shimming as we spoke about behind here which is in there it's difficult to see with this on now but um, we shim behind in between the back plate and the main upright and now we have a numbers of just over a quarter of a degree uh, sorry quarter of a mil and also on this one a quarter of a mil so giving us about half a mil of towing on the vehicle and even on the flags now you'll see where before it was hitting the front wing we're now just about one mil so we're now got the thrust angle right of the vehicle and we'll set about on the front end to tie the front to the rear Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this week's. I hope you've enjoyed the test drive of Greg's car, uh, or Project Greg, uh, the, the Hayabusa. It's, it's, a, it's a real animal. Um, just wants to go, that car. Um, if the four-wheel alignment that we showed you is anything to, that you're going to benefit from, if hopefully we've shown you what we do, what we can do. Uh, if you want your car four-wheel aligned, <coughs> give us a call, pick up the phone, uh, drop us an email, we can book you in. That's not a problem. If you want your car featured uh, in one of our segments, in one of our little VTs, then again, give us a call. Hopefully, uh, you know, we can get you in, we can get you booked in, and we can showcase your car to the rest of the community. The chassis schedule for the next 10 cars or the next 10 kits is available up here. Hopefully, you found your name on there and you can get excited like a little kitty on Christmas morning. Tune in next week for the K20 updates and this S2000 updates. Hopefully we'll get that done and that should be running by next week. Again, thanks very much guys. Thanks for watching, like, share, catch you next week.